a huge collision somewhere on track and we're back with some more f122 my team career mode welcome everyone let us see what we can pull off today we're just going to renew sponsors because i just can't be bothered with the sponsorship at this time second worst car on the grid but of course we've had a stunning start to the season taking p1 in bahrain with safety car galore and a chaotic race overall causing quite a few dnfs uh but yeah that was great 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 result p1 P1. Zhou Yu also doing well, scoring a P7 there to earn 6 points. 7th in the championship so far. We're leading the constructors, but that's not for much longer because we know we're going to lose out if the race weekend is going to be relatively quiet. 2.85 mil in the bank, or 8.3 actually, sorry. So let me see. Can I upgrade something at this time? Because it would be nice to get something... I think chassis fabrication might be a good investment to make. And then of course that means upgrade time. 1600 in the bank. Front wing end plate seems a nice one. We're going to head to China soon. So we may want to prepare for the Chinese Grand Prix which is of course in two videos time. Oh we do have a failed upgrade here. Electrical system. So let's re-trigger that in preparation for the Australian Grand Prix. And then I think I might try to get cable assembly. The weight reduction here before the Australian Grand Prix so let's trigger that we got 600 or so left but I don't think that's enough to hit anything else here so we'll store up some points for a later time so yeah we are still ahead of Williams as we enter the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix we're still some ways away from the midfield so hopefully we'll get these upgrades soon we got two coming in for the Australian maybe three coming in for the Australian Grand Prix which would be nice uh, all of these would make a nice addition to the car but let's head into Saudi Arabia Jeddah Corniche let's see if we can perform well again Welcome to qualifying around the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Time to see where we can put this car on the grid. Now, the car setup is fine. Engine is looking a little worn already, only after one race. Especially the gearbox looking a little worn with 28% already worn. So, we'll see. I think after this race, we'll have probably have to take another uh, gearbox. Move on to another column, but we'll see. Uh, time to set a lap time and see where we place this car. Uh oh, we got a problem here. Magnus is pushing. Magnus and get out of the way, bro. Or go faster than I am. Oh. Let's see. Coming across the line. A little bit of slushing from Magnus. We are the slowest. 92,000 slower than. Oh god, I'm going straight on. 92,000 slower than Vettel. Okay, my bad, my bad. Let me do a 40 point turn here like Austin Powers. Oh, that was clean, that was clean, that was clean. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Final turn, the hairpin. We're improving by 7 tenths on our previous lap. Let's see if we can break through into Q2 again. Coming across the line, 7 tenths improved. Is that good enough to get us into Q2? Yes, it is. P14, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, let's go. We're only about 9 tenths, almost a full second behind Verstappen, despite being the second worst car on the grid. Ahead of the Alpha Tauris as well. Pretty good. Latifi, Zhou, Albon, Drugovic, Stroll, and Vettel all out. So let's move on to Q2. Alright, our banker lap in Q2. You softs. It's not going to be a great lap. Always these you softs leave us with a less than satisfactory lap. One second behind Gasly. Wow. Alright, I'm not expecting to get into Q3, but let's see if we can put ourselves well within the bottom five of this 15. Oh, decent rotation. Almost 7 tenths here. 
Let's see if that's good enough to get us into the competitive side of... Ladies and gentlemen, we're into Q3. Hold on. How did this happen? What? Alright, we're into Q3. I did not expect such a stonking lap. To put us into P10, knocked out of Schwartzman, Schumacher, Gansi, Magnussen, Bottas, and Leclerc. We're beating a Ferrari here today. My gosh. By a couple thousands here. A couple hundreds, actually. But yeah, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm running 102 AI, which is the usual since season one. So yeah, this is quite surprising. All right, the lap that matters. This is it, final lap of Q3. This will place us on the grid. Nearly a second gained here, nine tenths, I think. Coming up to the line, out of fuel. I don't think I've made many more positions. Car is slow. P10, all right. Not bad though, Q3, I'll take it. Well, I gotta say, pretty good to make it into Q3. I'm still two tenths off the pace of P9, who was Lewis Hamilton here. Almost three tenths actually, so there was no hope for me to get any higher, but Carlos Sainz takes pole position for now. But let's head on into race day and see if we can turn P10 into a decent finishing position. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. So here we are then, welcoming you today to one of the jewels of the Arab world, Jeddah. One of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia, second only to Riyadh, gateway to Mecca, and one of the biggest ports in the region. And now, host to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sonoda, Norris, George Russell, and Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Firestarter, and Charles Leclerc, Magnussen, Bottas, Pierre Gasly, and Mick Schumacher, Schwartzman, Vettel, Lance Stroll, and Felipe Drugovic. Hamilton, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Albon, Joe, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. P9 is a strong starting position, you know. Uh, I will take it. Uh, we'll go on the hearts first, go long, and then see if we can adjust our strategy accordingly. Uh, let's drop a little bit of fuel, and we should be good to go. Um, actually, I think I should need a little bit more fuel. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. So let's start this race. I don't know, the tires are looking a little cool here. Um, but we'll warm them up during the lap. 0.3 meters, I'll take that. But let's hope the tires survive until lights go out. Here we go then, it's time for five red lights here in Jeddah. Lights out, away we go. Fabulous start, but Leclerc got an even better start. Around the outside, someone touched me. Leclerc hit me, man. I was so well on the side there, doing my own little thing. And then he jolted and hit me twice. My tires are a little cold by the looks of it. But we'll heat them up as the lap gets going. P8 right now. Trying to catch up to Alonso just up ahead. Oh, Tokyo drifting. Come on. Oh, look at them run away. Jeez, they're fast. 
I got a slow car, that's what it is. I can sprint it, I can do a quality lap in it, but I can't do a whole marathon in it. Car is still not up onto that level. But hey, catching up to Russell and Alonso here possibly. Let's stay close. Anyone pitting for damage? I don't know, doesn't look like it. Maybe someone behind, yes, someone way behind. I think it might be an Alpine in for possibly a wing change. But here we go, we're stay trying to stay close to Russell. AI has superior grip around sector 1 so I'm gonna lose out there but I think I can gain in the other parts of the lap yellow flag yellow flag what's going on safety car deploy safety car safety cars out what happened Lewis Hamilton's out ooh that's a Mercedes out Schwartzman's out Lance Stroll's out it's a huge collision, somewhere on track. Safety car has been deployed. I think I'll stay out on the hards. Just cool them down a little, save them a bit. Magnuson's out as well. Jeez. That's already five cars out of this Grand Prix. Alright, we're gonna go catch up with the safety car, see out the safety car restart, and then hopefully catch up to Russell and Ricardo. Try to get a couple more positions with the restart, because the chaos into turn 1 is definitely gonna be something we have to pounce on. Oh! Ricardo's out! Ricardo just had an engine failure! Ricardo's retiring again! Another retirement! Jeez! Daniel Ricardo is out. Just saw that engine give out as I was preparing to heat up the tires for the safety car restart. But unlucky mate. Okay, here we go. Safety car is in. Ricardo's still stuck on track. Not sure why the safety car is coming in already. If Ricardo's car is still on track. Here we go. P7 right now as Ricardo fails to complete this race and here we go they punched it I punched it in time as well getting past Russell oh I underestimated the brakes I underestimated brakes I underestimated the brakes sorry I had to let Alonso through I think that was an illegal overtake there so I'm gonna give it to him. Ah, oh, I took uh, exceeding track limits. That's fine. We'll just try to stay close to Alonso. Come on. Oh, what did Russell do? I just heard a smash, and his front wing's gone. George Russell made a mistake there. Huge mistake, gonna cost him. Lab 8. He's gonna have to do an early pit stop and he's holding people back for me, thank you. I'll take it. What an elementary mistake from George Russell in the Mercedes. I'll take it. Let's get closer to Norris, I think Norris has an engine issue right now. So hopefully we can catch up to him before they somehow fix it. I am gaining quite significantly on Norris. Okay, information on Sainz. Okay, they're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. Oh, Sainz is also having issues. It must be the Saudi Arabian dust or the heat just causing engines to blow up left, right, and center. Thankfully, we're running a Renault engine, and it's currently all the Alpines are fine. 
It seems to be a Mercedes and Ferrari issue. So let's see. Let's try and stay close. Try to close in on Norse. Alright, we got some DRS going. Gonna save some ERS for the main straight overtake on Norris. Here we go. Punch it. Got the DRS open. Slipstream. Norris with a car issue. See ya, mate. Signs is next, who also has a car issue. Let's push. Use the momentum given by Norris. Let's get him. Um, Slipstream, DRS, ERS. Got him. There we go. That's the overtake we needed. Joe's coming in for his stop now. They should be pitting soon as well because they're on mediums. Oh, that was a good run on signs. We got Alonso ahead by four seconds, which I don't think is a possible target. That Alpine is way too fast. Driver behind. Okay, science is behind you. Okay, the gap is less than a second. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are 12 laps old. We think they've got one more stop. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 32.9. Box this lap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Time for our pit stop here. We're moving on to the mediums. Fresh mediums ready. We're gonna have a much better time on those mediums than on these hards, so let's prepare for some pacey racing. These hards were not that bad once they got into temp, but an absolute nightmare to start on. And in we go for the mediums. I think I just entered on neutral, <laughs> which is a crime in and of itself. But let's see. T posing T uh, pit crew. Optimal turn in. 2.5. Still ahead of the Ferrari. Let's go. And just like that, we're out. P7. Not too shabby. I'll take it. Catching up to Gasly who has front wing damage apparently. And is on like 13 lamp old cards. Oh that was poor for me. As soon as I start talking concentration goes out the window but we do have DRS to assist us in getting closer to Gasly. We're not going to attempt an overtake until start finish straight of course to maximize our DRS usage. But I am in a train with Sainz and Norris who have fixed their cars now, closing in on me. So hopefully I can use Gasly as a barrier to get past and cause problems with the cars behind. Here we go. Punch it. Give it everything we've got. We're going to try and take P5 off Gasly. Good. Alright. Good. Good overtake. Much needed overtake as well. Because Gazi with the front wing damage is going to cause problems for Sainz and Norris. So let's run away with it while we can. We have a little bit of a benefit here. Driver in front. Vettel ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 6.5 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. Okay, they've done 15 laps on those tyres. The car ahead has rear wing damage, it'll be lacking down for, so keep pushing. Time last lap was a 1 minute 31.4. 1.2 seconds advantage per lap, keep going. 1.2 second advantage per lap, that's reassuring. Rear wing damage, huh? That is rare. Possibly a rear bump 
from that earlier collision chaos that brought out the safety car. So let's try and catch up. Norris and Sainz, 6.5 seconds behind. I want that P4, man. I want that P4 if I can. I'm driving like an absolute maniac. Come on. Let's close in on Vettel, man. Close in on Vettel. Oh, it's going to come down to the final lap here, possibly. Vettel's right there. I don't think I'll get him. Shame. I was driving so well, but I just don't have the pace to beat Vettel here. Oh, he has super ERS as well. That rear wing damage isn't as severe as I expected it to be. Trying to charge up some ERS for the final stages of the lap here. Oh, closing in. Oh, Vettel's struggling. Come on. Oh boy. It's gonna come down to the wire. Let's be smart about this, Sue. Let's be smart about this. Punch it! Come on! Punch it! Come on, Vettel! No! No, 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 no! Just inches away. I'll take that, though. effort from the team and a magnificent drive to secure victory here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, you know what they say, to finish first, first you have to finish. And that fact was clear today with lots of retirements having a big effect on the outcome of the race. As a driver, you tend to keep reliability concerns to the back of your mind and just focus on what's in front of you. But for the teams, races like this can be very stressful. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they secured here. Oh, that chase at the end was very, very, very tight. It was only 3.6 tenths difference between Vettel and myself. That rear wing damage isn't that severe as I thought it would be. For Stepan Sonoda and Alonso on the podium, Vettel, myself, Sainz, Ocon, Russell, Schumacher, and Gasly in the points. Bottas, Norris, Joe, Latifi, Leclerc, Albon, or Albon round out the finishes with Ricardo, Magnus, and Schwarzman, Stroll, Drugovic, and Hamilton failing to finish the Grand Prix today. Standings wise, how does this shape up? We still maintain a lead, 8 point gap to Max Verstappen who's had a stellar, stellar, stellar race weekend this weekend. Uh, Norris dropping a bit, Noda climbing, equal points with Norris, Leclerc also in the mix with Alonso, level on points, Magnussen and Vettel also level. Zhou Guan Yu still on 6 points, level with Ocon. But in the constructors, Red Bull do overtake us, 4 point gap between the two teams but we are still competitive with the second worst car on the grid. That has been an absolute stunning My Team race and season two is start turning out to be an insane race uh, season. It seems like we are in with a chance of staying competitive with the rest of the pack. So let's see if we can keep developing and keep pushing forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe using the red button down below, hit the notification bell as well. So you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for the support. Take care. And I'll see you in the next 